Hey, global crypto enthusiasts, this is 88 Fantastic coming to you Wednesday, May 29th, 2019 with a market update and uh, a little bit of uh, discussion uh, on what's going on in the market today and um, this week along with uh, some Bitcoin uh, Cash and Bitcoin Satoshi and the toxicity levels that are reaching uh, new highs in these chat rooms once again. So we're going to go have a quickie looky here. We see the market cap sit at $276 billion with a 24-hour volume of $84 billion. We see Bitcoin <coughs> excuse me, cruising at 8722 It had a nice little recovery. Uh, last night, Bitcoin had dropped uh, to the 8500 mark and fought between 8525 and 8575 for about three hours last night. And the market cap had actually dropped all the way back to 266,000 last night as well. So a quick cruise through the market here. You'll see a triple green across the board as of the last 8 to 10 hours have been really solid. Um, the big one of the day is obviously Bitcoin Satoshi Vision. As much as I hate to admit it, it has had a ginormous, a ginormous boost in the last 24 hours. Um, as you can see, its price sit at $174.61. Uh, everybody else, let's have a quick look here. In the last 24 to 36, having a quick peeky here. Tron's come back a little bit. Again, we're going to come back for our June the 1st Tron video to see how much uh, FOMO he uh, gets from pumping out his tweets. IOTA, look at IOTA too, had a 20%, 51 cent IOTA. That's just crazy right now. So anyways, we're seeing, uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of green over the last, again, we had a, a minor uh, slide back last night. As we can see in the in the chart over here, Bitcoin last night was at on this chart it's at 85.63, but I was seeing it at 85.25 last night. And we'll come back and refresh that after. And again, we just, on Saturdays we do our faucet portfolio updates. And as you can see, this is our free money. We're sitting at $529 right now. Last Saturday we were sitting at 485. So we've gained what another 15, 30, another just about 45 bucks, and we haven't even added our totals into the week. So so as you can see on the all chart here, uh, just a little bit of playtime, uh, half an hour to an hour a day, and you can see our free money portfolio just scale and get nice and juicy for the long run. So let's get into the um, into the articles here. There's just a few that I wanted to show you guys. First of all, uh, Bitcoin, uh, we're at the Bitcoinist.com. Uh, Bitcoin price still has enough in the tank to break the $10,000 mark. A lot of these um, are articles from uh, super early this morning. Has Kick called sex bluff on cryptocurrency assets? Um, that's an article to go and read there. I'm not a big fan of Ken and Kick. I just don't see any use case for it in the marketplace. BTC price up nearly for 50% since U.S. congressman urged to ban Bitcoin. I highly encourage you to come and either read this article or come and watch the video where this idiot, I, I'll, I'll be shocked if this guy has a job much longer. He literally laid out for the entire world how to crush the U.S. economy by using Bitcoin. Literally a step-by-step -step on why Bitcoin would crush the U.S. economy. So again, up to you, right? What is Bitcoin and why is it valuable? Three viewpoints. Well, you should know that stuff already, people. Uh, you know what? Not a whole bunch going on over here. A lot of it's dated backwards. And we're going to save this one for last. Uh, or Let's do that one first. Bitcoin's toxic culture war is explained. Okay, I'm just gonna oops, I'm just gonna pop this open for you. And what the discussion is is between Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, and the original Bitcoin. And I actually had my first taste of this um, the other night on Reddit. So I'm just gonna put up the article here for you guys, and I'll, I'll just uh, scroll through it for a little bit for you. And the point for me being is um, I don't care how good your technology, how much better than it is the Bitcoin. I don't care that you keep talking about the white paper to Satoshi in regards to Bitcoin because none of you have ever met him. None of you know, actually know who he is. And every time you read his white paper, you interpret it the way you want to and not the way that it's meant to be. Okay, So that's just one basic argument. The other argument is since cryptocurrency is not regulated and you can pretty much go in and do whatever the fuck you want in the crypto world, we've got something like Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin uh, Satoshi Vision, Bitcoin Diamond. Um, hum, you know what? Let's just punch in a bit here and we'll see how many come up. 
but the amount of the amount of other coins that have Bitcoin in the actual name, um, and like I've always said, if this market was regulated, if this was the real world, you would never have a Bitcoin Cash, a Bitcoin Gold, a Bitcoin Diamond, a Bitcoin SV, because you'd all be sued for fucking brand ripoff, plain and simple, intellectual rights. So my my point being is, if your stuff is always so good, why do you got to steal the name? If your stuff is so good, why couldn't you, in your billionaire, brilliant fucking minds, come up with a different brand name? But you didn't. You stole the brand name. You've stolen the, everything on the website. You don't even have anything directly correlated to your own stuff, and it all results in the word Bitcoin. So every time somebody comes into the... Every new person that still comes into the space and sees Bitcoin, they're being duped and misled by Veer and right and all of their fucking websites and the, and and their cronies so the other thing to talk about is is the toxicity in these chat rooms and we're going to use reddit as another example of how stupid fucking stupid people are on reddit nowadays it doesn't matter it does not matter the length of time that you are a member of a fucking chat group you fucking twat waffles Okay, if somebody's been in Reddit for three months or five years, what's the difference? How do you know the knowledge that somebody brings to the table because they've only been in Reddit for three months to somebody that's been forever? As absolutely ridiculous as it absolutely gets. And ch the childishness, I mean, you guys are worse than little fucking kids. So anyways, when we're in Reddit the other night, it's a total clickbait um, argument. I'm new to the space. What, why is there, what is the difference between this, this, and this, and this? And it was Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin uh, uh, Fake Satoshi, right? Total, total Bcash setup because every person that came in and gave an opinion, there was 80 people to pound on them within 10 seconds. Every time somebody came in and made a negative remark about Roger Veer or, or, or even Craig Wright, the amount of people that came in to defend them was absolutely unbelievable. So to me, I know you guys have done some good stuff, but you know what? You, you still went with brand ripoff rather than total creativity. You stole everything and you're making your money off of everything else and you couldn't do it your own. That's my whole point. I'd be supporting you if you had a different name, plain and simple. But the fact that you had to do brand ripoff and you do website ripoff and you mislead every new person that comes into this space, you guys are fucking pieces of shit. And I don't care what your price is doing. I'm still going to cheer for the day that BCH, uh, at BSV, and every other thing that's named Bitcoin that isn't Bitcoin fucking goes to zero. Because that's what this market actually needs. So what else do we got here? We are now over at CCN.com. CCN.com. Violent Bitcoin price correction to 3000 could ring dramatic reality check. And this is from earlier this morning. <coughs> Uh, we'll just go over it real quick to hear uh, the trader who goes by the bizarre pseudonym magic poop cannon is uh, bullish on Bitcoin long term, but believes a severe correction is coming. Um, I believe the same thing as well. He's got the bottom of Bitcoin finishing up at three thousand um, dollars. I think if we if we stay on on track with current trends the way we've been going for the last couple of years, I think our low for Bitcoin this summer is going to be uh, just over five thousand uh, dollars. We might hit that probably. Probably sometime in third week of June -ish or so, um, but I still fully expect everything to slide really back hard one more time. Um, we haven't seen very much profit taking out of anywhere, and uh, that's what's scary. Right? We're used to seeing red, our, um, profit being taken out, so we just haven't seen that. Have we found the bottom? The trader's hypothesis flies in the face of the most recent recent technical analysis. Trader and analysis, willy woo. Recently calculated a 95% chance the Bitcoin bottom is already in. You know how I feel about Novogratz already. So you got a 95, a 90, a 90, and an 85. Okay, now my thing is, as I love polls like this, but you know what? They've never been right. They've never been right. Whoever that is, obviously has never been right. And Novogratz has never been right. Okay, so again, when you're taking these polls and you're, you're doing all of these things, Take them from people that have actually been right in the market before. Don't keep taking polls and questionnaires and your, your, your information keeps coming from guys that have never been right. Don't forget all of these people. Bitcoin, Bitcoin was also supposed to be at $25,000 uh, all of last year and we should have been at a million bucks by now. 
right? Of course. But anyways, we'll do one more quick market review. I just wanted to come in and bitch a little bit. Uh, I, I'm just so sick and tired of, of the toxicness, uh, the childishness, everything that's coming into this market right now because people, um, they would rather uh, pump up their shit fucking coin and argue like uh, little fucking children rather than um, coming out and being supportive of anything. So, again, I'd be very supportive too, but you know what? When you can't even come up with an original, you're a billionaire that can't come up with an original name, that tells me you've been ripping people off your whole fucking life. Plain and simple. You couldn't come up, up with a different name. We've got 2,000 and uh, 200 cryptocurrencies, and we've got 70 names of Bitcoin. Everybody else is different, except for everybody that's trying to steal and rip off and, and, and take away from the success of the actual Bitcoin. Why? Because there's no owner. There's no company that runs it. There's nobody to threaten you to sue you. If Bitcoin act, if Satoshi Nakamoto actually came out right, right from day one, you'd never have another Bitcoin uh, named product ever. There'd be only one Bitcoin and not 70 other uh, Bitcoin wannabe fucking brand of ripoff stealing scammers. And that's what I call you. You guys are, you're not, you have no original thought. You steal everybody else's work and then you dupe everybody by bat, by bad naming and bashing everything that you're stealing from. So look at yourself in the mirror when, 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 if you ever decide to have a listen to this one. So that's all I got for you guys today. We just wanted to come in, do a quick market update and see who's uh, predicting what. And again, we're seeing uh, calls for a 3K BTC. Or call it, we're seeing calls for a 10K, 18, 28 the usual 1 million and all of the above. Uh, we're still sitting pretty in our April, May predictions. We still got three days left in May and we'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, that first week of June will be the tell all, tell all for the rest of the summer. So that's all I got for you guys today. That's 88 Fantastic showing you how to take a bite out of the cryptocurrency market. Take care, y'all.